Anetrak Anetrak Unbet Het. Nuk Unbet Het. Anetrak Hapi. Nuk Hapi. Twao Unter. Anetrak Serket. Nuk Serket. Anetrak Kebsenuf. Nuk Kebsenuf. Twao Unter. Anetrak Ast. Nuk Ast. Anetrak Amset. Nuk Amset. Twao Unter. A netrak neat. Nuke, Nuke neat. A netrak duamutef. Nuke duamutef. Twa winter. A netrak newt. Nuke newt. A netrak geb. Nuke geb. Twa winter. A netrak shoe. Nuke shoe. 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 Anetrak tefnut, nuk tefnut, 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 nuk tefnut, tefnut. Anetrak pau interu, nuk pau interu. Anetrak unbu interu, nuk unbu interu. Twau inter. So we just did the opening of the way. Um, we did it a little bit unusually because we would normally stay immediately next to each other and, and simply turn so that you're always on the left and I'm always on the right. Yeah. But, um, Due to television to, and thanks cables. Thanks to television and cables, we, <laughs> we were unable to way, do that. So. Um, unfortunately, didn't, we didn't do it that way. And we should say that this is something that was created um, by our priest. Um, he looked at the amazing uh, symbolism that was used in the canopic jars, mm -hmm. um, where you see these divine queens protecting these, these male deities that are protecting your organs, your mm -hmm. viscera. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, a beautiful description of the universe in microcosm, because you start out in, in one direction, and you're recogni you start out in the east, yes. and so you're recognizing that um, you are the directions. Exactly. And that your all of your body is divine. And this is significant to us because Ast is one of those protectresses that you'll see in the Neb Ankh, or what was misnomered as the sarcophagus, where her wings outspread facing the uh, Duamutef, I believe it is. No, I'm Excuse set. me, I'm set. Yes. That she is actually protecting. That's right. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in the pyramid text, she's called the mother of all of the gods who, who protect us. And I think that they're actually referring to the fact that she is one of those deities that protects each of these Mesu Heru, the four sons of Heru, mm -hmm. who are on the canopic jars. Mm -hmm. And so this is a, a beautiful way, we think, um, that you are able to take all of that symbolism mm -hmm. and place it into something that's practical. Mm -hmm. And so it's not simply something, something simply that you've read um, not something simply that uh, you can cite as fact, but it's something that's practical and that you can use on a daily basis. Yes, and this is something that we've done in our shrine and we will continue to do. We suggest that you do it early in the morning when you're most awake. Uh, we tend to say that your uh, pineal gland is most alive and awake and producing melanin between four and six in the morning. So I know some of you are thinking, I can't get up that early. Mm -hmm. But it's probably the best time to actually do a ceremony like this mm -hmm. when you're most alive and awake. And of course, the person that created this divine ritual is still around. You've seen him on our show. We're talking about Baba Heru, Ankara, Samad, Sepata. Um, he'll be on the show again, and, and um, you'll be able to talk to us and talk to him about this divine ceremony he created from our divine symbols. Mm -hmm. So with that, Hetepu. Hetepu.